Hi guys, it's Drina here from Plant Powered Kitchen and today is the official release of Plant Heart Families and I'm really excited about this book. As many of you know, I've been writing books for a long time. My first book came out in 2001 and this is my fifth book and ever since writing books, I really wanted to do a family themed book so I'm really pleased to finally have this in my hands and to be able to bring it to you. Um, when we had our daughters and as they grew, our girls are 14 and 10 and 6, as many of you know. Our little one just turned 6 and if you see streamers <laughs> in the background there, that's for her birthday. Not for me. <laughs> it's all for her. So um, many of you know that we have three girls and we raised them on this beautiful plant-powered diet. And over the years, I've had lots of questions from parents about raising vegan children and nourishing them on a plant-powered diet. And I really wanted to bring my wisdom and my ideas and tips into a book along with excellent and fun and delicious recipes. And I think I've done this with this book. I hope you think so too. It's a collection of recipes. All the recipes have been uh, photographed by my friend Nicole Axworthy and she did such a remarkable job. I just love the photography in here. It's so bright and beautiful. And every section is color-coded at the side of the page you can see for the different um, chapters and so we have lots of new recipes there are a selection of recipes from my other books as well um, just a few like a selection of my favorite recipes from my earlier books that we use all the time as a family and I've just made them a little healthier and also done some allergy modifications to make them nut free or gluten-free, um, but those are recipes we rely on a lot, and then a lot of the new recipes that my kids love and I love. And then, of course, those sections at the end of the book where I really feel like that's the heart of this book. All these years, people have always asked me things about picky eaters and packing school lunches and what do you do when your kid goes to a birthday party? Um, what do you put in lunch? Uh, we can't send nut products to school and things like that. I put all of that in this book, all of my insight and tips and there's menu plans and a, a, a section with nutritional FAQs. So there's a little bit of everything in this book as much as I could put in. And I'm really, really happy with it. And I hope you love it too. I've already heard back from many of you about the book, many of you that have pre-ordered. Thank you so much for sending me such warm emails about the book and leaving notes on Facebook and Twitter and, and my blog and such. It means so much to me and really makes me happy when I know you're enjoying the recipes and the content. Um, if you have ordered it, if you're able to leave a review on Amazon, that would be so helpful. It really contributes to the book's visibility on Amazon and gets the good word out. So if you're able to leave a short note on Amazon saying what you love about the book, uh, that would be so phenomenal. Thank you. And um, yeah, I plan to do some cooking videos from the book uh, coming up. And also if you're in the local area, I will be doing a book signing at Meat Restaurant in Vancouver Saturday morning, um, the 16th at 10 a.m. The restaurant opens at 11 and we'll be opening the doors early for the signing. So if you're in the area, come join us and try out some samples. And uh, I have a giveaway this week as well. I hinted about it in my Mother's Day post. So stay tuned. I have lots of good things coming up um, and just really want to connect with you and hear from you about the book. And uh, I hope you love it as much as I do and my kids do. <laughs> and I hope you find the recipes really easy and you know the ones that you turn to on busy weekdays and well every day is busy <laughs> as a mom and a parent right so I hope you find them just those go-to recipes that you can rely on all the time and I love hearing from you so please keep um, sending me those notes and spreading the good word I appreciate it so so much and we will be back very soon with some recipes. Thank you and uh, see you soon. Bye.